if you want a mace in survival, you'll need a heavy core and an item, which is a breeze to get by comparison, and so instead you need to focus on how you get an ominous key so you can unlock the ominous vault and get that 1 in 12 chance. The easiest way is to get an ominous bottle from outside of the structure, bring it in, drink it, and then take down as many ominous spawners as you can. But this is obviously going to require a seed which has both of these fairly rare structures together, and that's where this video comes in. So hello, I'm Abyx Toycat, welcome back to Seed Sunday, and you're about to see 5 different seeds which are incredible for this use today. With that said, let's start with the methodology. I found these seeds myself, but using chunk base and searching seeds by just trial chambers, pillager outpost, and the spawn coordinate. If all three were within 200 blocks of each other, then we have the potential for a great world. Interestingly, while searching, I found about 10 times as many trial chambers as outposts, but after searching 1,000 different seeds, I have just 5 candidates that met these criteria, so let's see which is best, starting with the first. This first seed is definitely the best when it comes to ease of remembering the number. I know a lot of mobile players struggle with copy and pasting or trying to remember the giant seeds that Minecraft Bedrock seeds often get to now, but this one is literally as easy as 1, 2, 3. Seriously, that is the seed. And just a couple hundred blocks away from spawn in this lovely frosty uh, tiger, you'll find yourself the pillager outpost. And so there's two ways I'm going to be measuring the seeds which we're looking at today. The first of these is obviously going to be the quality of stuff you find, not just the pillager drought post but how accessible it is not just the trial chambers but the same for that too oh look new wolves that's nice but as well as measuring nice bonuses like an abandoned mine shaft that goes right next to your trial chamber that is fun to look at i'll also be measuring the exact number of vaults that a seed has or rather the number of ominous vaults because there is a one in 12 chance of a given ominous vault giving you a mace and so 12 would be a very good number almost the guaranteed mace per uh, one of these whereas having say two wouldn't be good so how many vaults does this trial chamber have? Well, there's one here, one here, a third over here, a fourth here, and then a fifth over here for five ominous vaults in the entire structure, or just under a half chance of getting a mace, which isn't exactly terrible, but it doesn't make for the greatest mace seed, I would say. And so I would rate the overall seed, you know, as far as the surface biomes, I would give out a five out of 10, with an extra bonus for having a mine shaft that intersects with this place. That is something that is very fun. So six out of 10 for quality of seed, five for the ominous spawners. It's not a bad start, but I'm sure we can do better. So let's check out the second seed. The second seed is interestingly also a frozen tiger biome, although I guess it's fitting because I decided to use the way that I would pronounce toy cat in Russian, which is toy cat. <laughs> and uh, so as a result, this might be really great. Also interestingly is the fact that you can see the pillager outpost from spawn and you can see that it actually seems to have collided with what looks like it might be an igloo as well as a village. This is not where the intriguingness of this seed ends because you could get to this pillager outpost in no time at all thanks to this ice. In fact, as you can see flying there is literally slower than using an ice boat here is the speed of me flying and here is the speed of me utilizing the lack of friction from ice to get here immediately and i do have to say it's probably going to be a slightly harder pillager outpost to take down on one set of uh, you know the axis which is trying to defend this village or you could use the villagers as hostages or as i guess innocent targets uh, for the collateral damage and you could go right into the pillager outpost while they're all ignoring you to focus on that whichever way you want to see things you know lawful good or a little bit evil the interesting thing about this seed is that the chunk base uh, version of it seems to think that there would be a trial chambers just over here at 192 128 but when you dig down, you'll notice that there is no trial chamber. I thought it might just be under all this stuff, but you can see there's no sign of any trial chamber anywhere too close to here unless you go a full 100 blocks back towards the spot. Man, Minecraft is crashing so much in this preview. Sorry, Minecraft has been crashing a lot while looking at these seeds. Something about the trial chambers is causing the game to genuinely, I guess, collapse under the load, which is a little bit concerning, some people might say. But what's not concerning is the number of ominous vaults in this trial chamber, because there's one over here, there's a second in this room, a third in this room, and then a fourth in this one. It seems crazy that it has three of this same type of room. It's one of my least favorites, but it will get you ominous vaults. Three of them, in fact. While the rest of the structure will provide you with five, six, seven, and then even an eighth ominous spawner. Yeah, I'm just as shocked as you, man, which is pretty incredible if you ask me. So this seed gets an eight for ominous spawners, and I would give it a five for the overworld because it's nice enough. But the fact is you will have to dig below ice and water to get to this trail chamber, and you have to go a little further than 200 blocks to get to the outpost. And so for that, I'm going to have to mark it down to a four. 
four for the quality of the seed, but eight separate ominous spawners is definitely something you can't argue with. After all the cold places we went for the last couple of seeds, I'm really glad to be in a desert for this third one. We've got this lovely desert temple, we've got a village, and then a pillager outpost all in a row from one to the other. So get yourself some great iron or maybe even diamonds, get yourself some free food, get yourself that ominous effect, and oh, even better, there's a desert well. Wow, this is insane. A whole desert well for free, what a treat that you get on this seed. And even a desert blacksmith chest, this is one of the rarest types of blacksmiths, and you'll get a free diet helmet just for showing up, which is nice. But once you've taken down the pillager outpost, you know what else you'll get? access to a very exposed trial chamber. In fact, this trial chamber is so exposed that it has one of the easiest access points I think I've ever seen. Do you want to see what it looks like? It's so accessible that all you have to do is go into the desert temple that you're probably going into anyway and activate the TNT and as long as you can survive that. Okay, that's that's a bit of a big if, huh? But as long as you survive it, or can come right back to pick up your helmet, then you'll find that it will dig a big enough hole through here that you'll find a brand new cave, which you can just survive that. Wow, what's this at the bottom of the cave? It is a whole trial chamber. That is accessibility if I've ever heard it. And now you're free to enjoy the entire structure, or to jump on some, I don't know, eh, who doesn't like to jump on some slagmites? It's very enjoyable. But let's go inside and see how many ominous vaults they have. The first vault is in one of the brand new trial chambers. This is my first time seeing it, so if you want to check it out too, this is a great seed for that. It also has this very interesting addition to it. Wow, do you think that is an ominous spawner or a regular trial spawner internet? But as well as having this, you'll find a second vault in what I've already mentioned is my least favorite room. And then in perhaps my most favorite, you'll find a third. Oh, we crashed again? Come on, Minecraft, what's wrong with you? Ah, and then a second in my least favorite room, and then a third in another copy of my least favorite room. You know, I should start learning to like these. They clearly have good things. Although my actual favorite room does in fact have a fourth, and then here's a fifth, a sixth, and then a seventh. So honestly, a really decent seed if you're looking for a mace over 50% chance. But even if you're not, I think this is a really, really great seed. I'm gonna give this an eight out of 10 for the overall you know, seed and what you get from it. And even better because of this trial chamber, I think that makes it a nine. And then having a solid seven separate ominous vaults is certainly not bad. That's an overall score of 16, nice. Seed four is a very traditional Minecraft seed. We've got a plains with a single tree. We've got a bit of a forest around us. We've got this mountain behind us. And where is the pillager outpost? Well, I mean, it's somewhere around here. Oh, wow. <laughs> right in a village, apparently. Lovely. Honestly, this seed seems really good in terms of being able to get your bad omen very easily. It's a hundred minutes of a potion effect, by the way. Very, very fun. And it's even better because it's got a village right here. And right between the two, you'll find this weird hole, which you can take to get underground to get some resources. Or you can go up here if you're the sort of person who likes spawners. And you can find a very oddly shaped one, which might be your jam. Maybe it's not. I don't know. But I know that getting a copy of Cat is great, as well as a free uh, enchanted book. Loyalty sounds good to me but this seed does not reward you with any loyalty otherwise because there is no trial chamber anywhere around here. It shows as existing on chunk base, but not on the real seed, and so it has to be disqualified. Sad. This cave certainly isn't that though. Look at all of this iron. If you just don't care about trial chambers, you should check out this seed, but I imagine you do, and so let's go into the fifth. The final seed here is another great one for people who like easy to remember seeds, and it exists because I tried lots and lots of different things before eventually finding this one. So this is a plain slash uh, forest spawn, which will eventually lead you towards a savannah, where again, you can see there is a pillager outpost directly on top of it. Honestly, this is a, a lot of effort. Why would you build your villager house right next to this pillager outpost? Really poor decision, guys. You honestly kind of deserve what's happening to you. I feel like this could have easily been avoided and you just didn't do the bare minimum amount of effort to do that. But the interesting thing here is to say that you can kill your pillager captain. He does exist all the way up here. And once you do so, you'll be able to take your newfound raid omen effect and dig straight down over here. If you do so, you'll find something very, very fun. A big old ravine filled with some water to allow you to take some very safe uh, full damage. And then you can dig down where this cohort is. And if you dig down from here, then just a short 30 or 40 blocks later, you'll find yourself right over here, which is lovely. And what's in here? Well, why don't I show you? Wait. <laughs> Uh, and there's a skeleton spawner, which is nice, and comes with a free piece of iron and two coal. 
That's nice, I guess. I hope this chest isn't inappropriate. But what I also hope is that there's a lot of ominous spawners. I see one over here, but how many others can you find? Two, three, four, five, six. Wow, that is not a large number. It still gives you that almost 50-50. It's actually slightly more than 50-50 if you want to get really technical on the, the science here. It's not a 6 in 12 chance. It's 6 individual 1 in 12 chances, but that's a point for a different time. Anyway, the interesting thing to say here is that you would have 6 separate chances to get a mace, and I would say, therefore, that this is pretty bad for your mace opportunities. The seed is better than the first one. I'd say it's a solid 6 out of 10 myself, maybe a 7 out of 10, uh, but only only six opportunities means that this isn't the one I recommend. And so now the interesting thing is to work out which of these is best. Well, we compare all four scores and we see that seed number three is by and large the very best. And so let's revisit it for a second. It has to be said, spending time on a seed like this is one of my favorite things. I love big caves and I love trial chambers. And so when they intersect, I admit I have some bias, but I think it's true for everyone that this is probably the best of all of the worlds because of the sheer number number of trial spawners you're actually going to find, as well as the greatness of the above world that is on top of it. This is really, really nice and has all sorts of weird benefits if you don't mind looking for them. I'm not going to spoil it for you with coordinates, but what I am going to say is that although this is the best seed from this video, I'm not satisfied enough by saying this is the one you should check out. Because sure, this might be wonderful in its own little way, but I think it's worth now comparing this to the best trial chamber seed that we found a couple of weeks ago. We did a similarly uh, scientific ish process to work out which trial chamber would be the very best for easy access. And although I stand by that decision for trial chambers, the question is, is two trial chambers which don't have a pillager outpost better than one trial chamber which has very easy access to one? And that's a question which I think is best answered by looking at the loot tables. In the same way we can tell that your odds of getting a mace from an ominous vault are 1 in 12, we can also tell that your odds of getting an ominous bottle from a regular vault are about 1 in 6, 18%, which means that if you are in a trial chamber anyway, and if there are more than 6 vaults, as there are anyway, if you're just willing to kill 6 separate sets of spawners and 6 separate uh, vaults be opened, uh, then actually this is the better way. If you did have 2 trial chambers, you could use 1 for the vaults to get ominous bottles, and then go straight into a second one, which would make it actually just as good, if not better, than the pillager outpost method. Because obviously, that would allow you to use one, uh, you know, set of vaults to get the ominous bottles for the other one, for their ominous vaults, then use this first, the second set of ominous vaults to go get the ominous vaults for this first one. Basically, you could double your odds of getting a mace by going for a little bit more work. However, bad news. This is the Seed IBX Trial V53. It was the very best one I found, and honestly, it made fine a mace slightly easy, if anything, and uh, there was a trial chamber directly below spawn where these sweet berries were, and you all know what happens now. Well, I'm going to show you, because directly below spawn, in these caves we had to go through, there is precisely nothing now. Minecraft did say about a week ago that they moved the trial chambers, but they didn't, but in the latest preview, they actually have, and so the nearest trial chamber to spawn is, um, uh, <laughs> a long way away, it looks like. Oh, interesting. They're here. They just didn't generate until we got close. Did you know that? That is very bizarre. I feel like everything else in Minecraft generates all at the same time. But the trial chamber looks like it generates last. But yeah, it's still a very, very long way away. Unless maybe if we just go back to spawn and hope, maybe a trial chamber will just magically appear there. That is not how this works. Oh, it is. What the heck? <laughs> Where did that come from? How do you know where trial chambers are? You just gotta dig and then hope that it appears by the time you get there? How strange. Oh, I don't know what to believe anymore. What I can say, though, is that clearly finding multiple trial chambers anywhere near each other has gotten a lot harder, and I think, honestly, that is the better problem to solve than a pillager outpost and a trial chamber. But at the same time, if you're looking for quick and easy, as you probably are if you're looking for a seed, then for the, you know, quick and casual play where you're willing to maybe reload it if it goes wrong, then using any of the seeds from this video gives you a 50% or slightly more chance of finding a mace on your very first go. And if you just repeat that enough times, then eventually you can get a mace with fairly little effort required in a way that is much more repeatable than normal, which might be your jam. You might want to just get a legit survival mace as fast as possible 
And if so, that is what I will fully recommend. And that is nicely, hopefully, the conclusion to this video. I am sorry if my voice has sounded strange in parts. It sounds like I've been yelling for days, but it's just my throat has been a little weird for a few days. I'm going to give my voice a day of rest for tomorrow until my live stream, which will maybe be out just after this video. Um, it's going to be me trying to die in hardcore as soon as possible. But yeah, since it will be going on for a while and the highest tip will be deciding the stream counter, so I'm sure there'll be some weird stuff. I'm going to give my voice a good day of rest. And so I hope that you have one too. Oh wait, it's, it's Sunday. Seed Sunday! the weekly series where I show you seeds, and I hope you all enjoyed it, because I'll see you next time. Uh, I wheat. I wheat. Wheat. Goodbye!